Start right here in the back. The hitch chain and hook represents a 46 inch chain. Hooks here securely to represent the pan. Now the pan in this case of course will not be able to move. The hitch point, this bolt in the center is 40, there's 26 inches off the surface, 48 inches from the center of the rear axle. This will represent the hole down, which would be in most vehicles, I would say would run straight up and down. Assuming that everything else that you do in here will go over later would, would make any difference. Vehicles on a 134 inch wheelbase from here to here. Adjustments on wheelbase will be made in the rear wheels just so that I don't have to tamper with the front setup. Here, the black portion of the model represents a six inch strut of the frame. We're measuring to the top of the frame, this current setting is 60 inches off the ground or 42 inches off the center of the axle. When we move up these are just stabilizers to keep the frame from flopping back and forth as I do my tests. I've hooked the pull chain to the top here and to the bottom and made a loop and hooked the chain here hooked to a fish scale. The track markings continue all the way out. When I make the pulls I can keep the hook in the center and make my pull and take my reading. This will keep the angle fairly low so that I'll be pulling mostly from the wheels. The wheel frame that connects the wheels is just so that I can set the wheelbase and make a pull and allow the frame of the truck to actually move. This would be 12 inches and I did that on to represent a, I'm guess, figuring a 6 inch six inches of clearance from the center of the rear axle. I'm figuring anything above six inches is space that we wouldn't be able to use in most cases because of our chunks, oil pants and such. So I'm figuring six inches from center of both axles is the top of this is space that we cannot use. I've added two weights or two pairs of weights Here's our 60 inch mark for our weight box. I put four ounces behind that with a hole here to, so I can move it back for my next test on wheelbase. That will move back the exact amount that the front axle will move back. Same with four ounces here, roughly over the front axle to represent our engine. And again, an adjustment to move it back the exact same amount that, this, that these weights will move and that the front axle will move saying that if we run a shorter wheelbase vehicle we would have to move our engine would stay in the same location and our weights would stay in the same location in reference to our front wheels. And a simple test when I pull the fish scale and it raises it up. The block I have onto the rear is just for a test I'm going to do to get some baselines. It represents a three inch drop in hitch height when it contacts the block that's a three inch drop in hitch height. And that's our model that we'll start with to do our testing.